Tony, what's been the biggest takeaway of uh, this spring practice uh, compared to the other stuff you've been at before? I would just say the intensity day in and day out. Um, our intensity is the same each and every day. Our coaches don't let up no matter if it's day one or day like eight right now. We had two scrimmages and our intensity is still the same as it was day one. What, what's your impression of uh, Coach Luches, Coach Haggins? What's your impression of the coaching staff on the defense overall? Um, I like it a lot there. You tell them what you want, like transferring. When you had your visit, I told them what I wanted to be, and they pushed me there every day. Um, Coach Haggins is on me 24-7. Coach JP is on me. They constantly call me like outside of this. That's something I appreciate a lot. Coach Fuller and Coach Neville, they um, constantly check in with me. So I think it's just you tell them what you want to be as a player, and you tell them your goals. And they're going to stay. They're going to stay on you 24/7. Make sure you accomplish what you say you want to do. Sure. Kind of, I know Coach Lewis said you're splitting time inside yeah. and outside. I guess what are the challenges of? I mean, learning two new positions. I guess. Yeah, it's definitely a big challenge just because a three-four and a four-three are played totally different. And in three-four, you're more reacting than attacking. In a four-three, you're definitely attacking. So it's a, it's it's all football. It's all the same things. You get the same type of blocks, but it's a little bit challenging. Just I would say it's more challenging in the classroom, um, learning the in and the tackle more so than on the field. I think on the field it becomes pretty easy because it's all the same stuff. You just need to know your alignment and your assignment. You talked about like the 3-4-4-3. Three, four, four, three. West Virginia played in the 3-4 uh, last year. So how do you think, like, what do you think that added to your game? Like, what did you have to learn playing in that type of scheme that kind of translates over to um, other schemes? From an inside standpoint, it's not as much of a challenge as I thought it might have been. Just because in the 3-4, you're between the tackles and the guards. So you're going against big bodies. So going from a, a 4 eye to a 2 eye, it's not much of a difference. I would say your pad level just has to be lower because centers and guards aren't as tall as tackles. But it's all the same thing. It's not really a, a challenge. It's just fixing the technique. And once I fix my technique, I know I'll be you know, on top of it. It seems like the, the coaching staff trusted you a bit throwing that all on you right when yeah. you got here. What's it mean for that and to show you that kind of level of respect? It means a lot just because I'm the only guy really in our room doing handling both D and D tackle. So it, it means a lot to just, you know, that it's my third year in college and I'm like at a new stop and they trust me to be able to play both and learn both. It's not really, I enjoy it just because it gives me a chance to show all my versatility. I don't feel like going inside or outside, I'm losing something. I feel like it's just a, it's a game. I feel like I can play both pretty well. I'll say as a unit, we just keep feeding off each other. When you look in our room, for me, when I look around, I can see a bunch of guys like who got the same aspirations as myself. I see a bunch of guys who don't really, a bunch of guys who's not complacent. Um, Pat was all ACC, Josh was all ACC. Other guys don't get, get complacent. Daryl played well at Miami. Marvin and Nusi both played grid at their last schools. And then our rest of the room, like Dante and Aaron, the whole room, nobody's complacent. Everybody's trying to improve. We all want to compete for the reps. We all want to be that guy, but it's not, it's a healthy competition. So impress me with the, the speed of the defensive ends. You, um, Pat, Marvin all seem pretty fast yeah. in size. Um, everybody has their own skill set, I'll say here. It's not really, like, there's not many, too many guys that are the same. Like, Darryl 6'6", six, six, Josh 6'3", six, Marvin, Pat, like, they, they're about the same height and weight, but their body types are different. Like, I'm obviously, like, different being at 270, playing inside and outside. Lewis and Daniel, like, everybody's a different player. You're not really, you're not putting two guys here and it's like, oh, what can, who, what can he do better than the other? I think that's the best thing about our defensive line. Uh, I know Braden's been around a lot in the draft process, and he, I know, is a guy to move around a lot, too. Yeah. Like I said, he talked to you at all about that and embracing that? Um, I talked to Fitz a little bit. Like, um, I DM'd him before I committed just to see how he felt about Florida State, and he told me it was the best decision he could have made. I think for me, it's like, when you look at, like I said, back to coming here, when you look at the head rushers, like Jermaine and Verse, those guys are different players, like, but they're both first rounders in their, in their own way. So that's why I come in here, it was never like, oh, I gotta be exactly like this guy, or I'm not like 6'6", six, six, 250, I don't have to be like that. Everybody was their own players. And Coach Odell and JP, I'm big into like looking at the history of a player, and they both like had guys that looked like me or were built like similar to me, they developed guys that are my skill set. So it was an easy decision.